In the past few years, clean energy as well as renewable energy has been a pretty hot issue associated with the topic of environmental protection. Renewable energy, by definition, derives directly from the sun or from heat generated deep within the earth. It allows you to tap into natural resources that are replenished as part of the normal life cycle. Cut a tree down to burn for heat, and that tree is gone forever. Tap into the wind with a turbine to generate electricity, and the wind continues to blow. In which way we can save amounts of combustion energy and prevent environmental pollution? Based on the report, renewables contributed 17 percent to our energy in 2010. Both modern renewables, such as hydro, wind, solar, and biofuels, as well as traditional biomass, contributed to the global energy supply. As shown in the photos, people collect dives clean energy via all kinds of professional devices after a collection of energy. However, how can we store the energy and use it whenever and wherever we demand? The battery comes into slide. As we can see in this procedure, clean energy is accumulated into batteries by charging process. In this process, the energy is transferred to chemical potential energy in batteries, which are applied to cell phones, laptops, and electric vehicles. Ideally, after we run out of the power, we would recharge the batteries so that they can continue working over and over. Among all the applications of battery, electric vehicles are significant and promising to our common life. Here, we will refer to electric vehicles as all vehicles for which an electric motor is the primary source of propulsion. This includes plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, range extended electric vehicles, battery electric vehicles, and fuel cell electric vehicles but excludes hybrid electric vehicles. All the EVs are environmentally friendly, especially BEV and FCEV, which are zero emission cars. Different vehicles have their unique powertrain technologies, among which battery electric vehicles, the one we are most interested in, have the largest energy battery packs. Here, we present two battery models already available in the automobile market. In fact, battery electric vehicles has been investigated for the decades of years. In the end of 20th century, lead-acid batteries powered such early modern EVs as the original versions of the EV1 and RAV or EV. Afterwards, nickel metal hydride batteries are applied to hybrid vehicles. The U.S. Postal Service began testing all electric delivery vans, one of which uses the Zebra battery in 2011. Lithium ion and similar lithium polymer batteries, widely known through their use in laptops and consumer electronics dominate the most recent group of EVs in development. The traditional lithium-ion chemistry involves a lithium cobalt oxide cathode and a graphite anode. Recently, the Roadster was the first production automobile to use the traditional lithium-ion battery cells and also the first production BEV to travel more than 200 miles per charge. How can the battery of BEV work? With the development of EVs, just as Ron Terry said, who is the owner of Element 3 Battery Ventures and a former director of government affairs at International Battery. In the future, families prefer to demanding a car that goes from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds and that can go get 100 miles per gallon, whole enough for your 5-member family in the trunk that lasts for 20 years. Obviously, 
Lithium-ion battery is far away from this achievement by itself, with the fact that lithium-ion battery technology is unfortunately almost nearing its theoretical limits. Thus, innovations in new energy storage technologies, as well as significant improvements in existing technologies, are required to meet the ever-increasing demand for energy consumption and develop a new energy landscape such as lithium sulfur, metal air, sodium ion, magnesium and zinc ion batteries, as well as capacitive energy storage. In our research group, we figure out zinc can be stable in air, for which we can exclude the seal cases used in lithium battery to isolate all the compositions from the air and ensemble cells directly in air in addition to abundance of zinc on the earth. A pliable zinc battery with high energy density can be handled in a small expense. Generally, in order to study a new battery system at lab, first, we need to synthesize electrode materials. Then, structure performance will be measured by several analytical tests. Afterwards, we are going to assemble coin cells with those electrodes. As for lithium-ion battery, we need to proceed in the glove box with argon atmosphere due to air sensitivity. The assembled coin cells would do several electrochemical tests to assess their performance. 